How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today we're taking a look at NordVPN and Surfshark to see which one could be better for you and your situation. Okay, so we've got NordVPN right here and Surfshark right over there. And we're going to take a look at a few things, but if you guys are interested in the full review, you're going to find both reviews in the description down below, as well as links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. Okay, so when taking a look at VPNs, I like to take a look at the privacy policy and not just the privacy policy. I like to know if there are any independent audit reports. And in this case, we do have independent audit reports with both NordVPN and Surfshark. And there are multiple independent audit reports to prove that they do not collect any user information that can be identified or linked back to any specific user. And of course, both VPNs have solid server infrastructures that keep users safe when using the servers. And if you're not familiar with what an independent audit report is, it's basically when a firm examines the VPN provider to see whether or not they're upholding their privacy policy and no logs policy. In both cases right here with Surfshark and NordVPN, they do uphold their no logs policy and they they don't collect any identifiable information on their users. Basically, just statistics that help them improve their service. Now, in terms of speed, um, NordVPN and Surfshark are quite similar, except that I've noticed in my test, NordVPN is always coming out on top solely because of the NordLynx protocol, which makes NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. And if we go to the VPN settings here with uh, Surfshark, you'll notice that I'm using the WireGuard protocol, and that is going to be the best performing protocol call to try to keep up with NordVPN speeds, but overall NordVPN comes out on top about 10% or 5 to 10% faster than Surfshark. And that's not to say that Surfshark is slow, it's just that NordVPN is that quick. In terms of streaming and torrenting capabilities, both VPNs are able to unblock all kinds of streaming services and they both allow for unlimited torrenting uh, and downloading files without any throttling or bandwidth limitations. But in terms of streaming, uh, I mean, you can make your decision here. NordVPN has over 5,600 servers in 59 countries, whereas Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a massive jump. You know, if you got 41 more countries than NordVPN. Um, and as you can tell, NordVPN has plenty of servers, but it is lacking a little bit in, you know, the South American region, in the Middle Eastern region, and a little bit in the Eastern region right here, whereas Surfshark covers pretty much almost the entire globe with just a lot of servers. So yeah, Surfshark definitely surpasses NordVPN in terms of uh, location diversity. And because Surfshark has more locations, you're more likely to unblock websites and streaming services of countries that are exclusive to countries that may not be available with NordVPN, such as India, for example. So NordVPN no longer has a server in India, uh, where Surfshark still has Indian servers. If we look up India right here, you'll notice here we have a couple of locations. So if that matters to you, obviously you're gonna have to go with Surfshark. But either way, when it comes to the European region and the American region, both VPNs got that covered very comfortably with plenty of servers in the region. Now, in terms of security, both of them boast the 256-bit AES encryption, which is very solid. And they both have uh, multi-hop and static IP servers. So it's called multi-hop and static IP with Surfshark and NordVPN. It's called double VPN and dedicated IP. And these are two extra specialty servers that you can use, except that NordVPN has three more specialty servers servers that can be very useful. And with regards to security features with both VPNs, you will find the kill switch and split tunneling. You'll find a speed tester with Surfshark and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country, namely rotating IP, which will automatically rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes while your VPN location stays the same and no borders mode, which will help you connect from countries that are a little bit heavy on the censorship front. Um, you also have an ad blocker. Now, all of the features that I just mentioned with Surfshark are available with NordVPN and more, except for the speed tester and rotating IP. Now, with the NordVPN, you're getting not only five specialty servers, you also get threat protection, which is a bit of a mini antivirus, as well as an advanced ad blocker and malware blocker. You have a mesh net, which will link remote devices in mesh net to access them over the encrypted connections of NordVPN. And you have a dark web monitor, which is going to keep an eye out for leaked data linked to your email address, passwords, contacts, or any other personal details. And if we go to the settings right here, you have custom DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. 
you have the kill switch, but also the app kill switch, and you have split tunneling. So with regards to security features and just bonus features in general, NordVPN definitely surpasses Surfshark, and you don't even have to pay extra to get any of these extra features. They just come with the standard version of NordVPN, which is pretty generous and very cool of NordVPN to add all of these. And they're constantly kind of updating their service to have more and more features as time goes by. And in terms of simultaneous connections, you'll be able to secure up to six devices per account with NordVPN, whereas Surfshark allows you to secure up to virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription without having to use a router with just one account. So you can share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like. Whereas with NordVPN, if you wanted to secure an unlimited number of devices with one account, instead of getting two accounts, you can install NordVPN on a compatible router and anything connected to that router will be secured by NordVPN uh, naturally, of course. So that is pretty much it for these VPNs. I mean, both VPNs are great VPNs overall. NordVPN is priced very fairly and Surfshark is even cheaper than that, which makes it the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that keep your device secure. Whereas with NordVPN, it's more of a well-rounded value option that gives you very good security, amazing performance, possibly the best performance in the business. And it's not asking for an arm and a leg to give you all these bonus features that can be very helpful. If I were to pick one over the other, I mean, it really depends on what you're looking for at the end of the day. But me personally, I prefer NordVPN, but that's not to say the Surfshark is utterly inferior. It's just simply a budget version of NordVPN. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below if you'd like to jump straight to that. And you'll find links to full reviews in the description as well if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Either way, they're both covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So in case you don't like any of these VPNs for whatever reason, you can get yourself that refund because of that 30-day money-back guarantee. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cyber security. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.